Um, well, obviously, I've, I've always been a pretty confident person at the, at the start off, so that, that definitely helps. I think also uh, knowledge is a very important factor. Mm. I think a lot of people are trying to get into multifamily, whether it be as a syndicator, as a GP, or more of a passive investor like an LP. I don't think people are investing a lot enough in their knowledge because multifamily real estate, even though a lot of like these guru seminars and and media outlets make it look to seem pretty simple. And it, it, it actually used to be a pretty simple business. Today, it's actually quite complex and it's becoming more and more complex as it's getting more financial. You know, there are more people like me, um, a lot more private equity, a lot more smart money, Wall Street money, high net worth money. Um, and even mom and pop investors now are not just mom and pop investors. They're mom and pop investors who have, you know, master's degrees in finance and who work at investment banks or who were high level entrepreneurs. So it's become a very sophisticated market, you know, because multifamily compared to say commercial real estate or compared to the stock market has always historically been a very kind of entry level, um, you know, kind of we're, we're going to, we're going to wing it kind of market. And, and now it's getting very complex and very financial and Obviously, with raising interest rates and, and compressing cap rates, that makes it even more complex. So I think knowledge, investing in your education, even if you're just a passive investor, I think investing in your education and understanding at least basic uh, real estate financial engineering and underwriting and, and, and mathematics, I think is, is really where the confidence come from, comes from. And also knowing yourself and taking time to get to know the people who you're doing business with, because we... You know, being a mathematics guy, a lot of people think, okay, you know, he's all high level in the clouds kind of, you know, analyzing this stuff. But one must not forget that real estate is a very human investment class compared to the stock market where, you know, because you have an active uh, duty towards your property or even as a passive investor, you're investing in a human being and a property. There's that human component and that relational component that is so, so, so important. So I think the knowledge that you develop for yourself and also the energy and time that you invest in that relationship and, and really weeding out the relationship to make sure that you have confidence in your general partner or if you're the general partner that you have demonstrated your confidence and that you're showing it to your passive investors, well, then that, that synergy and that fusion that comes from that human side of things plus the knowledge is what really allows uh, investors to be successful both on the passive and the active side.